welcome uh, to our indoor worship uh, tutorial. Uh, just to let you know what you can expect when you come to one of Salem's indoor worship services. So assuming that the weather is nice, uh, you will walk up to uh, our entrance table here. Someone will uh, look at our list and see if you have RSVP'd. If you have not RSVP'd, we'll make sure that we have space and we'll add you to the list. And then someone will take your temperature and make sure that you are not running a fever. Uh, after that point, uh, we will also make sure that you are wearing a mask. If you're not wearing a mask, we'll have extras for you. And then once all of those things are done, you can come on in. You will enter into uh, the vestibule and then the narthex. And the narthex is gonna function like a two-way street. You're gonna enter toward the sanctuary on the right side. And when you exit the sanctuary, you will go out on the opposite side. As we come to the Frederick Road doors, we're going to ask folks not to come in this way, but to please come in the four doors off the parking lot. So as we come in to the nave, there will be bulletins. We are going to have paper bulletins. You can just pick one up, keep that with you, or deposit it in the box as you leave. There will be an usher, a member of the entrance team back here, that can help seat you. The painter's tape means a pew is not, it's off limits. We're not going to sit there. So every other pew is marked off, of course, to keep physical distance. This sheet would mean one person would sit here in this open pew. And obviously, if you see two, seat, two sheets of paper, that's two people and so forth and so on. So when you come in, if you're by yourself, you want to look for a single sheet of yellow paper and you can sit at anyone uh, that's open there. During the worship service, uh, we won't be taking an offering. We'll have the offering plate right back here in front of the baptismal font. So you can uh, drop an offering off on your way in or you can do that on your way out. For the exchange of peace, something very, very familiar with you. We've done this through the flu seasons for years and years. But we will not be, of course, shaking hands and hugging and doing the exchange of peace in that manner. But whatever, smile with your eyes and peace signs and all those good things. However, uh, you want to exchange peace with your neighbor, the folks that are around you. When it comes time for Holy Communion, this will be a little different. We're not going to be coming to the rail and kneeling and receiving bread and wine. We'll just be receiving bread, bread only, and that is perfectly permissible. Martin Luther talked about one kind, if you receive either the bread or the wine, you receive both. So one of the pastors will be standing in the center, and let's say I'm a worshiper here, and the, after the invitation to communion, I will come out, and I will come up and hold out my hand, and Pastor Sarah will gently drop I will come over here before I pull my mask down and consume the, the element there, okay? And then I will go to my seat, I will turn to my seat through the side aisle. So the flow will be up the center and around. Again, not radically different, we've done this in the past before. One of the tricks though is we're going to have to be careful when we come out that we don't stand right behind the next person, but to give to give the six foot distance, okay? To allow the six feet distance between folks. So we'll have to pay attention to that. And the, the ushers will be helping with that as we go along. After this side communes, then the pulpit side of the church will commune. And we'll do just, of course, the ushers will, will come out. The center aisle will come up, receive, and then we'll come around, of course, the opposite direction come back to our seats and we'll just do that in that fashion until everyone has communion. That gets us pretty close to the end of the service. When the service is over, we've received the blessing, we've been sent uh, off. We're going to go with the principle from last Sunday when Jesus said the last will be first and the first will be last. So we'll start with the last pews, the pews in the back, and they will be dismissed and go out uh, and go through the narthex bearing to the right, and there'll be arrows on the floor that will be real obvious, and we'll just work our way up. And that's very intentional. 
rather than what we're used to, we all pile out on top of each other at the end of the service and we linger and talk and that's all wonderful in pre-pandemic times, but not so wonderful now. So we wanna encourage everyone to go out keeping distance, going out through the narthex. And then if you wanna talk and visit a little bit, it'll be so much safer to do that outside. And of course, we ask that you keep your mask on at all times. I mean, unless you're you know, commuting, of course, or maybe if you brought some water with you and you need a sip of water, but to please keep that, that mask on. Mr. Sarah, did we miss anything? I don't think so. Um, we're excited to welcome you all uh, to, to indoor worship, and uh, we are taking every precaution to make sure that this can happen safely. And again, a reminder that online services will continue as they have been. Uh, so you can also continue to worship safely from home. We'll hope to see you. God bless. Peace.